Hey family, welcome to A Haunted House, I'm Star. And on this channel, I make content to empower others to pursue holistic wealth through real estate, finance, and at-home inspiration. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel below, give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section, tell me what you think. Also, your girl is new to Instagram, so go ahead and follow me over there at Ohana House Co. So in this video, I am going to be reorganizing all three of my pantries. Instead of having like one huge walk-in pantry, I actually have three smaller pantries, which I love, and I use them for different things. So you'll see me organize those or reorganize those in those videos. I have a pantry organization video already on my channel for my main food pantry. And I also have a butler's pantry organization video where I turned my butler's pantry into a coffee bar. If you haven't seen those videos already, I'll link those down below in the description box and I'll leave a card up here for them as well. I was supposed to do this video last weekend, but your girl was tired before I even got started. And I was like, this is gonna have to wait till next week, which is why I didn't post a video last week. But here we are, we are doing it today. So let's hop right into the video. Okay, so first up is my appliance pantry right behind me. I keep all of my small kitchen appliances in this pantry and I wanted to clean it out and organize it a little better. Um, because I just kind of had it all like thrown in there. So I already took all of my appliances out. I am going to wipe them down and then put them back in there in a way that makes more sense. My method is that I am putting the appliances that I use most often at eye level and putting those that I use least often at the top. So for me, the appliances that I use most often are my Ninja blender because I make smoothies often and my panini maker um, because I use that sometimes for lunch. I do love that I have this smaller additional pantry here that I can use for my small kitchen appliances. They can be bulky and take up space in the cabinet and also like different cabinet heights, the shelving heights can be an issue. So having a separate space for them is optimal for me. If you don't have an additional pantry or additional pantry space for appliances, you can always buy those silver racks um, where that you can use for additional storage in your kitchen, whether that be for small appliances or for food. Now on to my main food pantry. It got a little crazy in here. I've had a few small gatherings in my backyard and all the extra stuff just ends up in my pantry. So now it's time to clean out. I also have been to Costco for grocery shopping and I haven't put those new items away. So here's my chance to do that. In my first pantry organization video, I took everything out of the pantry, organized it and put everything back. This time I'm not doing that. I am going shelf by shelf for two reasons. One, because it already had a method for organization. So to preserve that, I didn't feel the need to have to take everything out and put it back. And two, because it felt a little overwhelming to do so. And I was already tired and not really in the mood. So I just wanted to do it in a way that didn't feel like too much for me. On my first pantry video, I got a few comments about me putting the can organizer on the top shelf of my pantry. I did that because the can organizer is too tall to fit on any other shelf in my pantry. I know it's not ideal, but that's what works for me because I don't care to adjust the shelving right now. What I do have is a, um, a small step ladder to reach the cans and it has not been a problem.
the baskets in the pantry got really crazy as you can see they're just bags of chips like tossed in there so again i'm going shelf by shelf i am taking out the baskets and everything on this shelf to reorganize them and i'll just put them back I'll also be leaving the links to all of my organization containers in the description box as well. I picked up a few extra storage containers from Dollar Tree. I really thought this popcorn container was really cute, so I put some popcorn and some chips in this basket as well. I love to bake and I go through flour like nobody's business. So here I'm just like refilling the flour and the sugar, um, the cornmeal. Now that I think about it, I probably should just get a bigger container for flour because I am refilling this thing pretty often.
we buy the items we use most often in bulk from Costco. And so again, we just recently went to Costco to re-up on some groceries. So I'm just refilling the rice here. But now that I think about it, I might need something like this for flour as well. From hosting so often, this disposables bin got so crazy. It was a little overwhelming, actually. So I am just reorganizing this whole thing and in that making the different items um, easy to reach so that it won't get crazy like this again. And I don't have to like move everything around in order to remove and put back items. Woohoo! Now on to the butler's pantry, aka our coffee bar. Here it's just really a light refresh, putting back the coffee mugs and the teacups that we've used, and then refreshing the tea jars. We have a regular coffee and espresso subscription with Blue Bottle. Sometimes when we get our new shipments in, my husband does not put the coffee beans and the espresso beans back in the containers. So here I'm just doing that. I like these ones. They came with cute little pictures. And so I use those in the jar to remind us about which bean we were actually consuming at that moment. Y'all, it's amazing how much space decluttering creates. Clutter just takes up so much space. In the pantries, it automatically just looks like a lot less stuff once you've organized it, thrown things away, and decluttered it. I love it.
I actually forgot to put the labels on the containers that night. I was super tired. It took longer than I thought, especially doing all three at the same time. But tell me what you think in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you like it. Subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. And until next time, love star.